What's up guys, it's Michael here and today I'd like to talk to you about the new KFX uh, format that has been introduced to uh, Kindle for PC and also with the DRM and the current uh, ways of uh, removing the protection from the books that you've purchased uh, through Amazon. Uh, so let's get down to it. So the current uh, Kindle version is um, 0.19. And what that version does is that the books that you download from here will be uh, downloaded to your PC as the KFX format. What that means is that they actually have a kind of advanced topography, more fonts, uh, different ways of putting the words onto the Kindle. Generally a better thing, but uh, currently there is no way of removing that uh, protection from them, so DRM protection. Um, so I will just kind of explain two ways of how to kind of get around it, but I just want to show you an example between old version and the new version, okay? So the current version, uh, the 1.19, so right now I'm downloading this fractured uh, book and you can see it downloaded here. You can see the separate folder and all the files for that particular book. So what happens when I drag it to Calibre? So this is the application that would kind of help us convert the books and remove the DRM protection once we kind of add the plugin to it, the DRM uh, plugin. So we'll talk about it, but have a look. So the new KFX, once I double click on it, getting an error straight away, unable to actually open it whatsoever. And so how to go around this, okay? So the first thing that you can do is basically get an old version. So when you go to tools options, untick the automatical updates. That's the first thing. Um, and then make sure that you have 1.17. Uh, in the description uh, for that video, I will include the link on where to find the version 1.17. So I definitely recommend sticking with this one and not updating the My Kindle PC. So if your Kindle for PC is currently updated, I definitely recommend removing it and downloading the one from the description. So what's the difference? So basically these files uh, from the 1.17, so I will show you here when we open the folder, these are the files from um, from 1.17, they will be downloaded as the uh, Kindle content and AZW uh, file. So when you actually drag them, no problem, they actually straight away uh, decrypt it from the DRM encryption. So I have the plugin already installed, I will talk about this uh, in a second. But basically this is one way. Uh, so get the old version and have the Calibre with the DDRM plugin installed. The second way that currently works is log into your account. So basically downloading the uh, file directly from the website, from Amazon website. So when you log into your account, when you scroll down on the list, there is a digital content. Choose manage your content and devices. And you will see all the whole list uh, for the books that you've purchased. So for example, this fractured book that I couldn't open uh, through the latest um, Kindle for PC, I will just click on the dots here for the action and download and transfer via USB. So you have to choose your Kindle and then download. And that download will get you the AZW file that once you have your plugin installed on your Calibre application, that will convert it straight away. So you can see that book straight away converted, okay? Um, so two ways, again, um, having the old version, so 1.17, and you can download it from the description below, or downloading it directly uh, through the website. Currently, these downloads would be AZW, so the kind of old format, and will allow you to be converted and the DRM, DRM removed from, from that, okay? Just so you know, I will just go through the steps of setting up your Calibre, uh, so you could decrypt all those uh, books. So once you have your Calibre, what you have to think about is, first of all, download the Calibre. So I will 
uh, put in the description um, the link to Calibre and I won't be explaining the installation as it's relatively simple. Once you download it, I would advise on downloading the plugin, so DDRM plugin, okay? This is the file, so you can click on it and the file will be downloaded straight away. So once you download it, just extract it locally to another folder. And in that folder, we're only interested in Calibre plugin. Okay, so only this one. So what we have to do, you go to Calibre, you go to preferences, and you go to plugins, and then load plugin from file. Okay, and once you select that, you go to the extracted files. Okay. So this is the one that I've extracted just now, and I select Calibre plugin, okay? And this is actually kind of a zipped plugin here, so you're completely fine. You click on open, it's asking you if you're fine with security risks. We're completely grand with that. We click on OK, and that's it. You will see it here. DDRM by Apprentice Alf. This is the person who's done it. Big thumbs up to the guy. And what you have to kind of do is customize this. So what you have to do is customize plugin. And then you have to put the serial number of your Kindle. So what you do is click on e-ink Kindle ebooks and you put your serial number. Where do you get your serial number? From the Kindle itself. Okay. Um, it's relatively simple. There is an option about info in your Kindle. So I'd be looking for that. If you don't know what the serial number is, I will put the steps in the description as well. So you can check it out. And once you add that, so you basically add it, you type that in. And so it will be a mix of letters and digits, case sensitive, so bear in mind. Once you enter that, just click on OK, apply, close. And then just drag and drop either the files that you have from 1.17 or the files that you downloaded directly from your Amazon account, whichever way. And then once you import it here, straight away you will see that you can open those books. That shouldn't be a problem at all, no errors at all. And then you can export them to Mobi, um, EPUB, PDF, wherever format would suit you best. Um, so you can uh, read it and use it on different uh, devices. I hope that helped you guys and I'd really appreciate uh, hitting a subscribe button and if you'd have any other queries put it in the comments and I would try to do my best to get back to you. Hope that was straightforward. Um, have a lovely day and thanks for watching my video. Take care.